Hello everyone, we are back this week with a room makeover and if you cannot already tell, this room is very echoey because it is pretty empty. We are in the second bedroom in our apartment and this is going to serve as our office slash studio slash sometimes guest room. And I say sometimes because that only happens on rare occasions, but I do have to be mindful of the space planning in here. So this has to be multi-purpose and it also has to be renter friendly, but that doesn't mean that we're going to make it boring. I don't want to play it too safe in here and I feel like the DIYs that we've created so far have really done that. So in case you missed my previous videos, I made this beautiful shelf behind me and I also flipped some thrifted pieces and I just love how all the pieces are kind of balancing each other so far. Now it's time to bring it all together and I have a specific vision of what I want this to look like. I want to do a bold statement wall so let me show you what I'm envisioning in here. And a huge shout out to Rocket Money for sponsoring today's video but I will talk a little bit more about them later on. Okay, so the layout of this room is basically two walls, one wall of windows, and then another wall with a closet and a door where we enter. So I want the wall that you first see when you walk in to be our statement wall, and I wanna do a very bold color in here. I wanna go for like a burgundy, wine, chocolatey type of color, depending on how it looks in here. I've done moody colors in the past, but nothing quite like this, and this is a color that is really tricky to get, especially on camera. So we're definitely gonna have to sample the paint, and I only wanna do one wall in here with paint because we are renting, and I just don't want to overdo it. Ideally for this design, I would honestly paint the whole entire room top and bottom with this paint color, but since I need to film projects in here still, I want to leave at least one wall neutral, which is going to be the wall behind me. I need it for filming and photos and props, so we're going to leave this wall behind me white. And on top of painting the wall, I want to try and do a renter-friendly picture frame molding. I have faith that my idea is going to work, but we will see how that goes. You can see from this design, I have a lot of wood tones in here. A lot of the photos that I was painting on Pinterest had a lot of wood furniture, so I'm mixing and matching different color tones. Personally, I really like the look of that and we are going to brighten it up with some pops of colors So I think a great color to pair with the burgundy wine color is a green Those are complementary colors. So I think it's going to look good together I really just want to have fun and play around with that So we're gonna add some color to the curtain as well as the floor because as you guys can tell this room is really gray And adding all those elements together is really just going to liven this space and make it feel creative and motivating to work in here Which is the overall goal. Okay, I hope Hope you guys can see the vision in here. I'm gonna go ahead and sample some paints on the wall across from me. And I think I'll put a poll on Instagram to see what you guys think as well. This is possibly the gloomiest and rainiest day that I could do paint swatches, but that just means that we get to see the colors in all types of lighting. So I will be leaving these up for a couple of days, but I grabbed two while I was at the store. This one is by Bear and it's called Cherry Cola and it's a little bit more on the redder side. So we'll see how it looks on my wall. And then we have Warm Mahogany by Glidden. I've never used Glidden paint colors before, but this was kind of closer to what I was thinking. I want a wine burgundy color, but also with some hints of brown in it. So I feel like this is pretty close. And I also have two samples that I already have and use and love and this one is Death by Chocolate. It's almost like a reddish brown color, so I think this might work as well. And then I also have Divine Wine, which is one of my favorite deep wine colors. My only worry with this one is that it's going to be too dark, so I'm gonna get it up on the walls to see how it goes. Where are my paintbrushes? That is so red. Hmm, this looks more like berry to me. I guess that's why it's called Cherry Cola. Also, I have matte walls. So whatever I put on it, it literally just gets sucked up by the paint. So even though this is a satin, it's literally being absorbed and it looks like a matte paint. Oh, that is nice. Already with one coat, this is looking good. So this one I've used on a lot of different projects and I just love it so much, so I have to test it. Oh yeah, definitely more purple toned. Maybe that's not what I want. Oh, but it's so good. It's such a deep, rich color. This one looks so good in the dining room. And last but not least, we have the more brown tone color, which I am a huge fan of. And I'm basically just putting this on the wall to confirm that I want a wine color and not a super chocolatey color. Oh, that's such a good color. I could literally eat this color. 
Decisions, decisions. It is picture frame molding day. All right, so I really wanted to figure out a renter friendly option on how to do this. So I had a couple of different ideas when I was brainstorming. The first is pre-made picture frame molding. So you can get these off of Amazon or Etsy. There's also a company called Lux Architectural that does it, but these can get pretty pricey, especially since they are custom made to your wall. The plus side is since they're pre-made, you don't really have to measure anything out to install them. And I think these are a really great option, especially if you're planning to keep them up for a while. So I will link a couple of options below so you guys can check them out. The next option is to use peel and stick trim. So I've used this before for different projects. I've yet to use it on a wall, so I feel like it could be a little bit tricky because it's so bendy, you might have a hard time making it straight. It's a little bit more tricky, but totally doable. And I also would warn you guys that the trim usually is very shiny, so it might be a little bit harder to paint as well. And of course, you could do it the old fashioned way using wood trim or PVC trim. And to get it on the wall, I had the idea of using command strips similar to how I did the paneling on my kitchen island. I went online to see if anyone else had done it and lo and behold, I saw that Pretty in the Pines did it. She used command strips to hold up her trim in her dining room and I think it looks amazing. So we are going to try this out and we're also not going to use any power tools. The trim I'm using is pretty lightweight so I think it's gonna work well with this method and it's also very thin and made of PVC. So I'm going to use my miter shears. You guys have seen me use this in previous projects and I honestly think it's just one of the best tools to have in your kit. Also the best part is I don't have to run into the workshop to cut the trim. I can do it all right here which saves so much time. remembering which way to do your cuts when you do them so always make sure that you have your trim facing the way that you want it to you have the flat side of the trim facing outwards every single time and the slants go inwards okay here we go with our first cut cut it through and there we have it and then I'm just going to measure from the outside that way we have the correct measurement. This is so much easier because I remember the first time I did picture frame molding, I had to run up and down the stairs so that I could cut the trim because I would literally be like a sliver off. And here I am just cutting these, sitting on the floor, having a great time. This is actually so much more fun when you get to just sit down and relax and use the miter shears and like listen to music or an audiobook. 10 out of 10 would recommend. A question I get asked all the time by you guys is if I have a budget when it comes to home makeovers and the answer is definitely yes. Doing makeovers and projects can really add up and personally it's just important to me to have a budget so I can kind of see where I'm putting my money. You guys know that I'm currently saving for our next space so the room makeovers are going to continue. One of the best ways that I keep track of everything and stay on top of it is with the Rocket Money app who is sponsoring today's video. I've been a user for years and the Rocket Money app is actually free to use and download. They are here to help you save more and manage your money better and one of the best features is actually under the recurring tab here's where you want to go to cancel any unwanted subscriptions so going into 2024 i actually canceled a bunch of things that i didn't realize went up in price i really wasn't using some of these things so you can cancel it right within the app and it's super easy it literally just takes a couple of taps and i think it's one of the easiest ways for you to start saving money and actually putting it into things that are important to you so if you want to start taking control of your finances today you can click on my link down below or go to rocketmoney.com slash Tina Lay to get started for free. And now back to the makeover. You guys totally know my style because after I put up the poll on Instagram, a majority actually voted for the one that I liked the most, which was the second option. So we have a winner. I went out and bought a gallon of this, even though this is probably more than I need. And again, I've never used this brand before, but it's pretty affordable and I'm pretty sure whatever leftover paint I have, I'm probably gonna use up for another product. I'm treating this room kind of like a studio and this area is basically a set for where I work on videos and film, but it also has to be 
be flexible enough to move things around for when we have people over, so this room is very much going to be a work in progress. But I just knew that I wanted a beautiful backdrop, and this color is giving me exactly the moody look that I was going for. Although I am interested to see what my mom has to say when she stays here because she thought that the teal room I did in their guest room was pretty dark and this color is definitely way darker than that. So we will see, but if you guys want to see how I transformed this into an actual guest room, I will be sharing that over on Instagram. All I have right now is legit just an air mattress, so I'm going to need to make this as comfy as possible for when they stay with us. <laughs> into this room because it's still so dark and gloomy but look at this color you guys this is the exact color that i wanted i feel like it's so rich and moody and just adding some color in here really opened up the room and makes you look upwards so it actually feels larger in here and now i'm gonna go ahead and add the trim to the walls i'm gonna have to do some touch up paint on these because it was so difficult to paint these are the command strips that i'm using which is a little bit larger than the actual trim so i'm gonna have to cut them down each one can hold up to three pounds which is more than enough for the trim and I'm gonna line this all along the back so that I can position it correctly because some of these are a little bit bendy so we're gonna have to get them in place as straight as we can. I was a little bit skeptical on whether or not you were gonna be able to tell that there were command strips on the back but I am happy to report that this method really worked well for me. Even if you're not a renter and maybe you're someone who always just likes to change things up I think this is a great option for damage-free installation. Look at this first one you guys guys i think it looks pretty good it looks so seamless the biggest tip i have is not to press on the corners all the way until you have two pieces that way you can make sure that they meet and touch otherwise i think this is a pretty beginner friendly project and having a laser level definitely helps so i will link this one below it is pretty inexpensive and it saves you so much more time and honestly even when i go back to owning my own place and being able to make permanent changes i'm definitely going to keep this trick in my back pocket also, again, I cannot recommend using a laser level enough. I honestly cannot believe that it took me three years to get one, and now I'm never going back. Gotta make sure it's on there. Wow. Are you guys seeing this? I think this looks so amazing. It looks like actual picture frame molding, which it really is, but I didn't expect it to look so seamless. You would not be able to tell that I put these up with command strips, and I think doing a dark color also really helped kind of hide that fact as well. I love this color so much, and I really like that this trim is actually a little bit shiny. I've never done anything like that before, but I think it gives a really nice contrast. I've always been like an eggshell slash matte person when it comes to trim, but I am really loving this, and I think it gives it more of a luxe vibe as well. Next, I'm going to add some curtains in here, and these are literally the same ones that I used in our old bedroom. It's this beautiful velvety brown color, and I think it looks really good with the paint color. I always think if there's only a couple of changes that you can make in a room makeover, it definitely should be paint, curtains, and lighting, and just with those three changes, you can make such a difference. Let's 
see what the wood looks like. Wow! Styrofoam. Ooh, yes! Wait, I think all we have to do is put the lights on. I thought we were gonna have to build like the drawers and everything. This is really nice though. Wow. Take a look. Very, very nice. I'm God! This is the goal. Wow, this is exactly the piece that I wanted for this space. I just love how it's pretty simple on top, but there is great detailing in the legs and stuff like that. So I love that when I'm filming videos, it's not super distracting when you look at this angle. The price was also amazing. I got this off of Target and apparently it's made by Mrs. Martha Stewart. It also has a drawer on this side. So you actually have some storage a plus on this piece. I also have to mention that even though this is pretty solid, it's also not super hard to move around. So when I do have guests over, we're gonna move the desk over to this side so that we could fit the air mattress along this wall. The sun is finally out today, guys, and walking in here this morning, it just feels so warm and cozy, but also still like classy and luxe. Like this is giving library slash study vibes, which is exactly what I was going for. And you might have noticed that we added the cabinet back in here. It's a little bit shorter than it was before because I actually took off one of the rows of compartments. I'm playing around with height balance because I want to add a big piece of decor on this side, and I felt like they were competing with each other because this was just way too tall. So we're gonna leave it like this for now and see how we feel about it. I really wanted to add this fan in here and I just love the teal green against the wine color. There's something so interesting and special about it. I've never paired colors like this together before. I feel like usually if I'm doing something moody, I stick to darker colors, but this just adds such a playful touch in here. And I just love decorating with items like this because it kind of breaks up all the straight lines and the rectangles that we have going on in here. This is more of an organic round shape, so I love that addition as well. And if you guys have been following me since the beginning, then you might have remembered this giant fan that I had over our bed, which I feel like is a huge nod to that. Let's hang this up and style the rest of the room. Since this is a working space, I already know that it's gonna get messy and creative, and I'm gonna keep the styling pretty minimal because I just want it to be a calming room to really clear my mind before I get to work. I'm also tying the pop of green from the fan back into the DIY frames that we made and also with some greenery. With some impactful changes, we were able to take this really plain dreary room and turn it into an elevated, moody, and inspiring place to work and rest. So without further ado, here is the after. <laughs> Like, where even am I? I cannot believe this is the same room. With a little imagination and DIY, you really can transform any room into any vibe that you want. And I am still in shock about this picture frame molding because it totally elevated it and it really did not cost that much to do or take that much time to do. I hope at least one person who watches this video will give it a try because I would honestly love to see how you guys do it in your space. And like I mentioned earlier, this room is definitely a work in progress because it's always going to be changing. So I'm excited to make it even better than what it is right now. And if you guys want to see any updates on it, make sure to follow me over on Instagram. I post on there every single day. Let me know your thoughts on this makeover. And also don't forget to subscribe down below for even more makeovers. That is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay inspired and I will see you in the next one. Bye!